as we all know uh, tech boom is going on and tech salaries are shooting through the roofs right so there is no wonder that many people want to join this boom and they are trying to get into the tech fields um they can be either like you know coming from other engineering branches like mechanical engineering or electrical engineering and trying to switch into cs or there are also like i'm seeing candidates also from completely from non tech non engineering background like from fashion technology or like you know a marketing graduate who now wants to get into tech and one of the best ways to get into tech is of course to do a masters in cs degree right uh because then you can try to get into a placement and try to find a software job so this remains one of the very popular options but the question always has been that like you know how to crack a good admits if you're trying to switch from a non cs field to a cs field and in this video i'm going to talk about the list of schools which you should prefer if you are trying to do this all right so we are talking about the list of universities or programs that are friendlier towards non cs candidates now let's first understand the challenge that you are going to face if you are trying to switch from non cs to cs number 1 is that you are competing with the people who have formal cs degrees in their undergrad right they have taken all the foundation courses they have obviously done a lot of relevant projects so the question is why should the admission committee choose you over any other such candidate that means your story is of course going to matter a lot your background is going to matter a lot and whether you can convince them that there is a story here that this is why this course is right for me and this is why i'm qualified for this course you will have to do all that in your sop that is for some other day but today we are going to focus on it is also important for you to apply to those programs which are friendly for candidates like you okay now there are universities or cs departments which do not like to take non cs candidates at all okay they are set in their ways they don't want to take non cs candidates it means that even if you have a very good tech profile you have done a lot of projects and you are telling a good story in your sop your profile is good still they will not look at you because they don't want to take non cs candidates but there are other programs or universities which are open to this so it is better for you to focus on those universities now how to find this out that is where it gets tricky because there is no such list available so what i am going to do it for you is based on my last 8 to 9 years of experience i have seen from the results what universities are more friendlier towards non cs candidates and that is the list i will be sharing with you today so make sure you save it and refer to it if you are trying to apply for ms and cs programs and you come from any non cs degree okay now of course this list is not comprehensive it's not a blanket list but this is just based on the results that we have seen from our clients now i want to discuss two kind of lists because there are two different kind of programs which entertain non cs people the first list that we are going to look into is what i call as the bridge programs these are specifically designed for people not just non cs but also non engineering background because they offer all the foundation and core courses required for you to get better at math programming and all the required courses for cs the second list that we will discuss is the list of normal ms in cs programs which are fairly forgiving and they sometimes take qualified candidates from non cs backgrounds as well now first let's look at these bridge programs and we have some very popular universities that offer these bridge programs one is columbia university now when you read their website description you will see it describes that this program offers prospective applicants from non computer science backgrounds and even those without any kind of programming experience then we have bridge program at nyu tandon 
which is a certificate program designed for students with a non-technical background so that they can develop a skill necessary for STEM master's degree. Northeastern offers two bridge programs. One is for MS in CS and one is for MIS. Their bridge CS program says, which is also known as the Align Master of Science in Computer Science program, it prepares students from any undergraduate discipline for graduate level coursework. So you are getting a sense that these bridge programs are basically designed as a stepping stone if you want to pursue a formal MS in computer science. For example, I had this client from Southeast Asia who had a background in fashion, retail, sales, etc. And she wanted to now learn computer science. So she was first applying to these bridge programs. And once she completes a bridge program, then she would be qualified to apply to a normal MS and CS program. So these bridge programs are great for people who are not even engineers, people with very different backgrounds, but they are interested in MS and CS. So they can first do these bridge courses and then move on to a formal master's course. Now, among these kind of courses also, we have a special case and that is USC's scientist and engineer programs which is designed for people who have no like computer science background, etc. But it is a combined program. It is a bridge program plus a master's in CS degree. So you don't need to do a master's in CS after this. This itself is a master's in CS, but it has extra courses so that people from non-CS background can first develop a foundation and then go on to study the normal CS courses. Another similar program you can consider is University of Chicago MPCS or Master's Program in Computer Science and their website specifically mentions that if you do not have a background in math or programming, they offer math and programming prerequisite courses as well. So similar to USC, you can take these extra courses first and then go on to take the normal CS courses here. Now let's move on to the list of normal MS and CS programs which are open to accepting qualified non-CS candidates as well. And this is the list where I have seen some of my clients from electrical engineering and other degrees get into the CS programs. Uh, of course, you need to have some good technical projects in your profile or work experience to make a strong case. But if you have all those things, then these this is the list I would target. Here we have one of the most popular ones in, in our group is TAMU, which is the Texas A&M Masters in CS program. Then you have University of Wisconsin PMP, Purdue, University of California Irvine, NCSU, UMass Amherst, Sunny Stony Brook, Florida, Arizona State, Sunny Buffalo, Boston University. These are the programs where we have seen results where they accepted non-CS candidates as well. So we know that they are open to taking non-CS people. Now, there might be other programs like this as well. If you know some of those programs, you have seen your friends getting into them, then please leave uh, it in the comments below and we will add it to our list. So this is the list you can refer where you have some background in CS. You have done work and projects around uh, programming and CS uh, subjects, but you do not have a formal degree in CS. In the last, let me now discuss what is the program more suited for your needs? Now understand that as we said, a lot of people are trying to get into tech, but the difficulty of getting into a CS program also varies depending on your background. For example, an electrical and computer engineering graduate has a much better chance of getting into CS than a civil engineering student who has a better chance than someone from marketing or bachelor's degree in business background. So the more farther away from CS you are, the more you will have to go towards the bridge programs because they will suit your needs better. You first need to take those foundation courses, then only you can apply for normal MS programs. But if you're somebody from ECE or even from fields like robotics or data science, which are interdisciplinary, which, which can introduce you to good CS fundamentals, then you can consider applying directly to MS in CS programs, which is the second list that we discussed today. Now, the biggest downside of the bridge programs is that they make you take extra courses. You have to spend extra time like a trimester or extra semester in college 
in, in the graduate school which means that you have to pay more money on tuition so they come out to be more costly because you are now effectively taking extra courses but if you are if you have a good qualified background and you are able to get into directly a ms ncs program then you can save that money so that is the biggest distinction so this is all from my side it's basically a list of universities and programs which you should consider if you're trying to switch from a non cs course to a masters in computer science course hope this helps i'll see you next time bye bye